React and React Native have a pretty impressive and complex event system. Apart from normal event handling, this event system can also be used for interesting applications like recording and replaying events or even gesture mirroring across multiple devices. The project is called Mayakai, which means magic hand in Tamil. To start using it, navigate to the start file of your React Native application and insert a couple of lines. These lines hook into the event plugin system and transmit all events to a WebSocket server. That is the server that's indicated as an argument to the start function. For the first scenario about recording and replaying gestures, we will be using the emulator that's running. We will deploy the F8 React Native application to this emulator. While the Android application is being built, let's start up the WebSocket broadcast server. We may also have to use ADB reverse to ensure that the device has access to port 8082 on which the WebSocket server is running. Once the React Native application is built and deployed to the device, you will notice that it connects to this WebSocket server as soon as the application starts up. This is due to the two lines that we had earlier inserted in the application. Let us also start up the client that's responsible for recording the user gestures. We can now start interacting with the React Native application. As you can see in the console on the bottom left, all the user interactions are recorded and written into a file. Once we have enough user interactions, we can stop the recording session. Let's refresh the app once and start replaying the actions that we just recorded. The replay script also connects to the WebSocket server as a client. It pretends to be a React Native application and starts sending events to the WebSocket server. The WebSocket server in turn broadcasts these events to all the clients such as the emulator that are connected to it. And that's how record and replay works. Let's close the emulator now and look at the gesture mirroring demo across multiple devices. Here, I have three devices that are connected to my machine. I'm going to deploy the exact same application on all the three devices using React Native Run Android. The application is deployed on three devices, each with a different device size and a different Android version. I just need to interact with one device and all the other devices follow the device I'm working with. Such a scenario is particularly useful when I need to ensure that my layout works across different screen sizes. All of my interactions including clicks, swipes or scrolls are mirrored across over to the other devices. The way this system is built is quite simple. Check out the project's GitHub page or the accompanying blog post for more details and the internal working.